Well, hey guys, got another one for you. Uh, today, uh, well, yesterday I got this pile done and all the logs are here now, well, ex except the one that is in the stream, kind of drowning there, but whatever, it can stay there for a while. Uh, but this is not the topic of today. Uh, today is, uh, basically the title says it, uh, I'm building an ATV trailer because I got an ATV uh, like I think two weeks ago and uh, it's kind of pointless without the trailer uh, so uh, I'm hoping to save as much money as I can and I'm hoping to get this project done under like 100 euros basically I have the steel right there somewhere in the corner and uh, I'm hoping to use this uh, rear axle of uh, I think it's like from a Volkswagen Passat or something uh, I removed all the unnecessary shit already, uh, like the calib brake calibers and uh, all the unnecessary wiring and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, the, I was kind of uh, scared that the bearings are shut. Well, they were shut, uh, they didn't move, but uh, after some hammering and some oil, I got both of them moving pretty smoothly. Uh, this this is a bit harder, but uh, and it also makes some kind of weird noise. But I think this will be fine for now. I mean, I'm not gonna drive it like 100 miles per hour anyway. But yeah, let's get this project going. I'm not gonna show the ATV in this video. I'm gonna show it in the next video when I finish the trailer and kind of demonstrate how it works because I want the trailer to kind of have a tilt function just like a normal a normal car trailers do but I think I won't be using any winches to operate it because I'm gonna let the gravity uh, do the tilting work but let's see how this goes and enjoy the video I guess So I broke for lunch uh, and when I came back the weather went full retard and uh, I moved uh, under this uh, shade here so I can continue work 
Uh, so yeah. the bottom worlds later uh, I'm also almost finished with this uh, front boom here and uh, I need to only add like uh, this exten extension bar now and then the trailer hook and then the frame is kind of done I think uh, and then I need to build the, the box that kind of goes on here and I will make that box out of this uh, 90 de de degree angle iron. Uh, I think this will be fine. This is like 5 millimeters thick. Should be strong enough for a ATV trailer. Okay. Yesterday I finished buying all the bars I needed for the trailer. It ended up costing me a bit more than I wanted, about 150. I was hoping to get it done with 100 bucks. But it's fine, I think. A trailer for 150 bucks is totally acceptable. Yeah. Uh, so I got this. Not sure if you can see, but I got this. Uh, uh, parts for the trailer and I already installed them and I started painting painting the underframe and when I'm done painting with the underframe then I'm gonna I'm gonna build the upper uh, how do you say it bucket or box on the frame and then I think it's pretty much finished
but the idea is that I kinda gonna weld this onto the frame and then figure figure out where the hole should be on this frame. Uh, I think it should be some somewhere in the tilting point. Uh, and then I will drill through this a uh, hole to this frame and the same on the other side. And uh, then I'm gonna weld some couple of lockers in the front and then I should have a tilting frame and I can finish the frame off by uh, adding a couple of uh, unders, uh, under supports here. I need I think one here and uh, one somewhere there and then this frame is so much finished that I can probably oh yeah I still need to do the sides and then I can add the plywood but it's going well so far uh, okay let's finish let's continue So yeah, uh, I skipped a little and uh, decided to finish the trailer. I had to bring the tra trailer uh, down a bit because it was far too much off the ground. I ended up cutting a piece out of there and then I uh, got it uh, more down uh, because it was too high up and it, uh, well basically the center of mass kind of it's not good where it, when it's uh, very high up, but I think this trailer kind of came out pretty nice, and it also has a tilt function. Just gonna have to remove these two bolts here. Should lift up, <laughs> and. You can basically empty the trailer this way. I think it's on the right uh, right spot there, but uh, if I need to move it a bit further or closer, then I can do it. I just need to drill two new holes. Also these are kinda, yeah, I don't think these are very good, but uh, I don't have anything uh, that I can put here right now, so I can just uh, YOLO with this one. But I think this trailer came out pretty good, considering only it like, cost me 130 bucks. It's, a bit, it's uh, still a bit far off the ground, but uh, not that much, and yeah, that that's my ATV that I got. It's a Grizzly 660. It's a bit old, but uh, it starts up nice, works nicely, and I think it will serve me pretty good. But I'm gonna go to the forest now and uh, gonna test out this trailer, see how it uh, how uh, it works, and yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching this uh, video. I think this is like part two now. And uh, yeah. Bye.